More than 13 years after Renee Pagel was stabbed to death in her Rockford area home, her estranged husband has been charged with her murder. Michael Pagel was considered a person of interest for a long time. Renee Pagel was a 41 year old mother of three. She had just donated a kidney, kidney and was at home recovering when she was killed in August of 2006. 13 on your side's John Hogan has more on today's breaking news. John. Well, friends and family and police have been tenacious in their pursuit of Renee Pagel's killer. Now they gathered today at the Kent County Sheriff's Department as news of Michael Pagel's arrest was made public. No, we've never let this go. And uh, you know, the big thing is, is the kids. Detective E.J. Johnson was at the murder scene on 13 Mile Road Northeast. It didn't take him long to learn about the giving nature of Renee Pagel, a mother of three. We all know that she gave that kidney prior to this murder. Hagel donated a kidney to the father of a student she taught at Kent Technical Career Center. It kind of uh, sunk with all of us the way that she treated everybody. She just loved everyone. She was at home recovering when police say her husband stabbed her while she was in bed. There was no signs of forced entry and valuables were left in plain sight. Johnson picked up accused killer Michael Pagel and brought him to Grand Rapids for arraignment Thursday afternoon. When were you in custody? Around 11 a.m. this morning. Pagel is charged with first degree premeditated murder. Now it is punishable by mandatory life in prison. According to court documents, Michael Pagel made incriminating statements which led to the discovery of the weapon suspected of having been used in the murder. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker authorized the warrant on Wednesday. And I don't think there's any one thing. It's just a accumulation of a lot of things and a lot of hard work and a lot of investigation based on a lot of different factors. Michael and Renee Pagel were married for 11 years. Their divorce was to finalize the week of her death. Becker said that point was not lost on investigators. In terms of any case like this, when you're dealing with a domestic you know, relationship and a divorce, that's you know, top of the list, but we looked at others as well. Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young praised the work of investigators, including Detective Johnson, who served as the liaison to the Pagel family. He's been wearing this case in his heart this whole time thousands and thousands of hours of investigation for him and many other people. Michael Pagel's arrest, she says, brings a sense of closure to loved ones and to the community. As the community kept asking about it. They, they never forgot Renee either. This was important to them that we brought closure to this case. Now Michael Pagel will be back in court on February 19th. Bond for the Saginaw County man has been set at $2 million. John, thank you very much. We will have continuing coverage in our next half hour. We'll hear from one of Renee Pagel's best friends who never gave up hope that the case would be solved.